Hello, everyone. Welcome to your weekend edition of Morning Coffee. Thank you so much for tuning in. So this is going to be a general energy reading for the weekend of January Feb uh, <laughs> January 11th, so Friday, January 11th through Sunday, January 13th. Yeah. So this is going to be a general energy reading. So please take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't. Um, this is not love or science specific or anything specific. This is just uh, what spirit would like to discuss with us today. You know, what's going on for us? What's the current energy around us right now? And this is general, all right? So if you would like a look into your own personal situation, please go ahead and shoot me an email and we will get you set up. But other than that, you know, this is just a general reading. So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't, yeah? Alrighty, guys, let's get straight into it. Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for the weekend of Friday, January 11th through Sunday, January 13th. All right, so immediately I'm seeing green here, and um, I can't remember if I said it in yesterday's morning coffee for Thursday or if it was in... Um, during happy hour when I was doing the general energy update, but um, there's definitely heart chakra uh, activation and cleansing happening right now. And I really feel like that is pretty significant um, given that we just came out of the holiday season. For some people, the holiday season was, I, I'm not sure why exactly I'm picking up on this, but um, I mean, you could say it, it is so that, you know, for a lot of people, the holiday season is pretty rough for various reasons. For others, it's not, it's, it's not so rough in the sense that, you know, it's sad or sorrowful or whatnot. It's just um, between like all the parties and all the eating and this, that, and the third, it, like it can be an intense season. So I really feel like... Um, with this green energy that I'm seeing, with this heart chakra activation, cleansing and healing that I'm picking up on, many people are in a phase right now where we're just collecting ourselves. Probably, you know, getting all reacclimated, you know, for the year ahead, getting geared up, getting ready, getting set, conserving energy, trying to rest. You might be still be pretty tired. Um, because of what's going on within the heart chakra right now, but there's a lot of cleansing, a lot of purging. Um, there could be a lot of reconciliation through, you know, the heart chakra acting, uh, opening up. And actually, the three of swords just um, appeared and caught my attention. So we're definitely in the process of healing from, you know, this energy some some of the heartbreak that may have happened whether that is just throughout 2018 because that was a pretty rough year or um if that is like somewhat recent you know if it was something new that happened but let's get one more shuffle here for the weekend and see see what we've got for this weekend january 11th to january 13th Okay. So we're starting off. Ooh, boy. All right. Wow. Underneath the deck, we have the Nine of Wands. So this is definitely why we have some sort of heart chakra situation going on. Okay. Um, the tower. So some of you, some of you dealt with a tower situation. I really feel like this is a past energy. Now this is a general reading, so it could be, um, you know, it could be anything. It could be something that happened recently, you know, or I just feel like for a majority of people, this tower moment has already happened and it may, and it's probably something that you've been dealing with for some time here. Um, it could have something to do with finances because we do have the Five of Pentacles. Um, and then we also have the Ace of Swords, the Page of Cups, 
and the Six of Swords. Okay, so what I'm getting with this, it could have something to do with finances, um, maybe a job. Um, and the tower speaks of abrupt change, okay? So now, so there could have been an abrupt change in a relationship or um, a job, like I was saying. We do have the Five of Pentacles, which talks about feeling left out in the cold, feeling rejected. Um, and for some of you, this could be an energy of just, you know, maybe being pushed out or feeling like, you were pushed out or feeling like you were treated unfairly in some way. Um, but we have the Ace of Swords here. So all around, there's quite a bit of clarity around the situation. And already what I'm, I want to say is if you are feeling in, if you are in a place of lack because of what may have happened, you know, in this tower moment, um, the truth is all around you about the situation, okay? And I really feel like, um, you know, you may be, keeping yourself in this five of pentacles energy unnecessarily we have two energies of well one officially of moving on with the six of swords here uh, moving towards calmer waters this is a lot of mental healing as well and then we have the page of cups the page of cups can either in this situation is either representing a dreamer energy or like a, a healing energy um, figuring out how you want to move forward, uh, put, getting your dreams together and uh, manifesting through true or, or more authentic desire, or it's also an energy of reconciliation. It could be both, wanting to move forward, but then also being in the energies of reconciliation. But then you have the nine of wands here. So this is, it's almost as if... Um, You've been battered and bruised in this situation and you just have to keep plugging along. You just have to keep going um, because ultimately truth abounds. I mean, the Ace of Swords is in the center of this reading here. You know what I mean? So uh, this is the knowledge is there. The understanding is there. And I feel like for some of you, you're kind of doubting it a little bit you're feeling this energy of the five of pentacles of feeling left out in the cold or feeling lack but in all honesty you know what is real with the ace of swords and i really am getting it's mainly it's the way that this is depicted but i'm really getting an energy of moving on of walking away of walking towards something new with the page of cups here okay Wow. Yeah, there's really, no, I, I mean, I'm trying to see if there's more to say about this, but you already know the truth about the situation. And if there was a tower moment in the, like an extreme situation or something just came to an abrupt end or something, it's like the universe came in and helped you out with that. I know it may not feel that way right now because you're in this five of pentacles, nine of wands energy. You're feeling battered and bruised. You're having to just keep swimming. You know, that's my, the nine of wands is my just keep swimming card. The nine of wands is also, it represents the wounded warrior. So, I mean, you're definitely in an energy of f maybe feeling tired, exhausted, uh, like I said, battered and bruised. But you just got to keep keep striving. Because truth and justice are on your side. Now, justice isn't here officially. The official justice card isn't here. But truth is on your side. Or at least you know the truth of the situation. And what's best to do is just move forward. Six of Swords. Just move forward. And I really feel like that's, honestly, that's what's happening. Six is the number of healing. Um, it's also of a number of... Um, balance and harmony within the home and family and, and what i'm getting with this energy with this six of swords energy is that whatever is going on for you right now you are in the process of moving on from that of healing from that you really just have to trust the universe to have your back here okay mm -hmm. yeah all right so let's move into some clarification here 
I want to start with the Ace of Swords. But there is definitely some sort of realization for some of you with the Ace of Swords. And to be quite honest, you could have been the person to create the Tower moment just because you were truthful and honest about something. Okay? All right. Ace, let's, let's clarify this Ace of Swords, please, Spirit. The Hierophant. The Seven of Swords. The Moon. Ooh. And what just fell on the floor? The Eight of Wands. All right. Very interesting. Um... And then underneath the deck, we have the Queen of Pentacles. So, okay. So, yes, there was definitely an energy, a, a situation in which uh, you or somebody else um, was truthful and honest about something. And what I'm getting here is with the Hierophant and the Seven of Swords, this was like, I'm getting like a, a, a I, heard, I was hearing about the patriarchy. Um, or like a good old boys club situation, uh, the status quo establishment or whatnot. And there were things that were happening between the seven, between the seven of swords and the moon here. There were things that were happening that were just not on the up and up. Uh, in some situations, some people were taking advantage of their power, of their, uh, of, you know, of their status and um, doing some pretty not nice things. And it looks to me like there was some swift communication here, Eight of Wands. Either there was swift communication or there was a swift ending or a swift shift in the situation or both. Uh, uh, communication led to a swift kick in the pants. And, you know, it could be anything. This is a general reading, but... Um, yeah, something was not really I'm hearing regretful. So basically what I'm saying what what I'm, what I'm what I'm channeling right now is that someone was acting in a way that was regretful or you may regret how things transpired. So with that said, I want to I want to clarify this Five of Pentacles here. Why do we have this Five of Pentacles energy? This um, lack, feeling lack, Five of Swords, and the Five of Wands. Wow, that's interesting. The star. Okay. Uh, underneath the deck is it's the Queen of Swords. All right. So... That's really interesting. We're clarifying the Five of Pentacles and we got the Five of Swords and the Five of Wands. So there was competition. There was um, chaos. There was um, one-upmanship, backstabbing. There was definitely some, something was going on here that was not cute, okay? And this is, could be, um, this could definitely be in a work situation, all right? It could be, but it doesn't have to be. But with talking about the Five of Pentacles, it definitely could be. And actually, a lot of other readers have been, well, a number of other readers have lately have been um, channeling that, you know, there could be something, some sort of deception going on at work. And I feel, that feels the strongest right here. Okay, we have the star, but then we also have, wow, the Six of Swords again, but also we have the King of Cups. So there is a deep sense of emotional maturity that's, that's happening here that is causing somebody to move forward. Now, I, I really feel like both sides of the equation for some of you, it may not be for all of you, but I feel like both sides of the equation 
in certain situations are feeling this five of pentacles energy one it could be for the person or like the establishment or whoever th those of them those individuals that may not have been acting in the most integrous way but also it could be for the person that spoke their truth and then you know and now is in this nine of wands energy this um having to persevere and keep going i mean the queen of swords this is the energy that cuts out the bit bullshit okay so if look if, think about it this way if you are in this position where you're like you seem to be everything is up in the air you don't know how things are going to work out you you know there's massive change happening around you um, as if you were standing in your truth and your honesty and integrity, I mean, there really isn't much hurt that can come to you. And it doesn't necessarily mean that you're not in alignment with, you know, your truth and your path just because things look, feel a little rocky right now. Okay. Okay. Uh, to, uh. I want to finish with, let's clarify this tower moment. Just for clarity's sake, let's clarify this tower moment. Because I feel like for some strength, okay, I feel like for some, this tower moment is still going, and it ha but it has been for some time, and judgment. And the queen of cups. Well, we've got the counterparts here. Underneath the deck is the queen of cups. Um, and to me, what this is saying is this is a caring and nurturing and unconditionally loving energy, all right? And so because of the appearance of the Queen of Cups here, whatever, was, whatever happened in this situation, the, the truth that was told with the Ace of Swords that's right here underneath all this stuff, the, the truth that was told, the honesty that was put forth was because, is, is on, in, on, Ooh, okay, sorry guys. Um, is part of what created this tower moment. I feel like this tower moment was multifaceted or multi-layered, um, and it was going on for some time. But finally, the final judgment call here was the Ace of Swords moment, where someone spoke up or some sort of truth came to light. Okay, and with the and that, and that happened because of the energy of the Queen of Cups, the energy of unconditional love and um, respect for the self, emotional balance, especially with the King of Cups here. Okay, there is a lot of emotional balance, but especially between the masculine and feminine energies, um, and so that is potentially what ge is giving someone the power to move forward. Okay, you have strength and judgment. So there was a there was a sense of inner strength that came forward in this situation, and now a final judgment call has been made. And so what the universe is asking me is, I want to say, begging me to tell you at this moment in time is that things are still kind of up in the air. The dust has not quite settled yet, but there is healing coming to this situation, and there is wish fulfillment coming into this situation as well. Okay, so you don't have to feel like you're out in the cold, like you're destitute, like you have no options, blah, blah, blah. You don't have to feel like that because the situation is still kind of um, balancing itself out. So I want to actually just close the reading by talking about, um, well, not close the reading, but close this section of the reading, um, the clarification section. We're going to clarify the Six of Swords because this is the root of the situation. You're moving forward to something brand new. So let's see. Moving from rougher waters to calmer waters. And for some of you that have been in this situation for a long time, um, this is a big relief for you, but there's also probably a lot of purging that you have to do around the situation. So like if it is a job or something and you, it's, you could have been working at this job for a long time. You know. Six of Swords. See, what did I tell you? Okay. Wow. All right. So we have the Five of Cups. There's definitely some remort and reg remort, remorse and regret here. 
This could be for both parties. Um, we have the Ace of Wands in reverse, but we also have the Ace of Pentacles. I feel like some of you are... You're in a very deep transitional period. Um, the, the, the Five of Cups here, that's talking about the purging happening. Um, but you see, the beauty of the Five of Cups is, yeah, you might have, you might have, you might be moving away from a situation that, um, you know, may have crashed and burned socially with the three, because the Three of Cups does talk about um, social settings, right? And in the Five of Cups, three of cu the Three of Cups energy is spilled over, but you still have the Two of Cups energy behind you, right? So you're moving on to greater things now. I feel like in this situation, th this is a pretty tough energy, to be quite honest. You have the Ace of Wands in reverse, but the Ace of Pentacles upright. And I really feel like right now, people are more focused on the Pentacles than the inspiration, than the fire, than the passion, than the spiritual reality. It's almost as if you might be falling back into the energies of um, lack. Well, you are. For some of you, you are Five of Pentacles is that energy of lack, destitution. And as I've been talking about it, Spirit kept saying to me, destitute, destitute. It's, there are people that feel, it's almost as if there are, there, then this actually definitely could be part of the heart chakra healing that's going on. But there are energies of um, lack mentality kind of resurfacing for some. Okay, and you have the two of swords with the two of wands. So there is a decision that needs to be made, but it's almost as if you're refusing to see something here. For some of you, you're needing to move on. For some of you, this may not have happened yet, um, and you are still trying to make a decision towards moving on. For some of you, you don't quite feel inspired with the Ace of Wands in reverse, but you know you need a new start with the Ace of Pentacles. Maybe a new job, a new living situation, whatnot, whatever. And you might, because you don't feel the inspiration with the Ace of Wands in reverse, you might be refusing to make a decision. In some cases, some people are just refusing to see things clearly, or maybe just not even refusing, maybe just having trouble seeing clearly. Five of Cups here. I do want to, I'm going to pull one more time for this because I want to get some advice on this situation moving forward because I really feel like this is the energy of moving forward here. I feel like there's something else that needs to be said about this. Okay. All right. See, underneath the deck now we have the Knight of Wands. So I really feel like if you were to keep your, your, your thoughts, Six of Pentacles in reverse. Wow, look, the Five of Pentacles again. Uh, please excuse the pause. I'm, I'm, tra I'm channeling this because this is really, really interesting. This transition that you're going through, you're going through a phase of feeling out in the cold. And finances may not be balanced right now. There is financial worry going on at the moment. A lot of it. With the nine, Knight of Wands underneath the deck. I guess because the, I, I hear what the message is, but I guess I'm in resistance to it because I don't quite understand. But what, what they're saying through the Knight of Wands here is that you have to keep your spiritual warrior fire lit. You got to keep moving on because especially if you were in a situation in which you didn't necessarily do it. I just, I feel honestly, what I'm looking at with the Six of Pentacles in reverse, I'm looking at an imbalanced situation that not, wasn't necessarily your fault if this is resonating with you and you're in this position, I really don't think it was your fault. And it's almost as if you've kind of been pushed out or left out in the cold here.
one more time. Uh, final guidance here is, please, Spirit, Page of Pentacles. Uh -huh. Ten of Cups underneath the deck. Okay. All right. So basically what's going on here, as you're moving forward with this Six of Swords energy, you're starting over. So things might be a little slow, especially now. I mean, it's we're just coming out of the holiday season, but things might be a little bit slow. Um, you know, you're 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 starting over, but you've also leveled up. So you're not necessarily starting over. You're starting anew, is what it is. Now there could be some messages of business to come in. But I really just see the Page of Pentacles as, you know, the fresh start, the new level, the new thing. The new expression, the new representation. Now look here, guys, if you are standing in your integrity and you did what was right for you, um, there, you know, this tower moment was a strong one. And I feel like you, even though you might be afraid, you might be scared, you know, there are, there is some fear here with the moon, but even though you might be scared about what's to come, um, as long as you maintain your authenticity and your integrity, I mean, you're generating good karma for yourself. I'm not saying to go look for a fight, but also don't take any shit. I mean, the Queen of Pentacles did come out um, when we were clarifying. It was on the bottom of the deck when we were clarifying the Ace of Swords. The Queen of Pentacles doesn't take sh any shit. Neither does the Queen of Swords, and she came out too. Okay? You don't have to put up with bullshit. Period. You just don't. All right. So, now let's get into some uh, Oracle guidance here. So, let's get some advice from the animal spirits, please. Advice from the animal spirits. Ooh, bat. Okay. Zebra is underneath the deck. Uh, zebra is a vibrant personality. I might read that one. But what's most important right now is bat. Okay, so look, guys, the bat you can you can say you can see that as the death card in this deck. Here we go. Bat. Darkness, letting go, death leading to rebirth. Sorry, there's a car alarm going off there. Okay, I'm just gonna stick for that. I hope you guys can hear me. Oh, it stopped, all right, cool. <laughs> Before emerging, the bat waits for the sun to set and the moon to rise. In the darkness, it can see all that was invisible in the daylight hours. The bat has a, is a master of the subtle senses of the underlying forces that cause some things to prosper and others to fade. The bat card shows up to signify the ending of a chapter, the closing of a door. The bat comes swiftly, encouraging us to move on. It is in just a few hours, day dawns. No more lingering in the past. All right, so there's, look, this, wow. Definitely, this is definitely a close, this is a perfect card right now. When in balance, bat accepts, adapts, and adjusts. When out of balance, bat refuses to let go and reminisces. To bring into balance, one must one can watch the sun rise. And that's actually, that's kind of the energy that's right here with the two of swords and the two of wands, the ace of pentacles and the ace of wands, the ace of wands being in reverse. There's a decision that needs to be made. There are new starts that need to happen, but for some of, but some people are refusing to see the truth are refusing to look at the situation and make a decision. Now, this is for those of you who are still, who are dealing with this tower moment. It's almost as if this tower moment is creeping up on you, okay? For others of you, if you've already made the decision, I feel like it's those on the other side of the equation that are refusing to see the truth of the situation. And so they may be trying, they may be projecting on you or whatnot, what have you, or just like refusing to refusing to see, to admit they had, they had any fault in the situation or whatnot. Or, and it's not even about fault, it's about involvement, like as if they didn't do anything wrong. And that's not something you need to concern yourself with. If, that, if you're getting you know, caught up in your head about that, that is just a waste of your time. 
because you can't do anything about that. That's all on them. I want to go with the light worker again today to close out the reading. So just a closing message from the light worker oracle. Honestly, guys, I know I know that the situation feels pretty bleak right now. I get it. Um, but you have to just let this transformation happen. Okay? Uh, the, and the best thing that you can do right now is to maintain, uh, just keep swimming, nine of wands. Maintain your autonomy. Maintain your vibration. I mean, I, there are going to be moments where you may drop down into some memory and have to purge some things, but that's happening for a reason. Allow that purge to happen and work towards bringing your vibration back up through that, okay? I really honestly, though, I feel like some of you already have some opportunities that are coming in with the Ace of Pentacles here, but you're still kind of refusing to see the, the, the beauty not, or, or the, or the um, yeah, the beauty in this shift for yourself, you know? I feel like you might be, many of us, right now are caught in this lack mentality energy in a bit. And it's, it, okay, it's okay, the divine is saying it's okay because this is actually giving us a chance to really purge some deeper levels of that. And this is ancestral, okay? This is family-wise, this is, woo, there we go. There's our message for today. <laughs> All right, card number 12, eternal now. But this purging that's happening of the, it's ancestral karma, it's, um family lineage that's being because yeah it really is family lineage because a lot of what has kept us in this process or in this cycle of thinking that we need some sort of job like this if it was a job or uh, any sort of situation it does feel mostly like a job because we have so many pentacles here and that's been the general energy for like the whole collective lately but it doesn't have to be a job okay but there's been a feeling of needing to a feeling of destitution is what spirit's saying needing to have this certain situation in order to survive and you are break, actively breaking yourself out of that now so that's going to take a little bit of time, okay? It's not necessarily something that's just going to happen overnight. And you have to do the work in healing and forgiving and all that. But here the advice from the Lightworker Oracle is card number 12, Eternal Now. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Wow. I mean, starting right off, we're talking, we we're talking about energies that exactly have come out. Looky here, eternal now. Within you is great strength and courage. However, just because you can manage to keep going when you are drained or stressed, it doesn't mean you have to do so. You are encouraged by your higher guidance to request assistance in letting go of tension within your mind and body. You will gain energy through this release and perhaps even see things in a new and more optimistic light. Shifting into a more present, relaxed, and enjoyable state of being will help you overcome the past and successfully create your future. Dear one, have your thoughts become trapped in the pain of the past? Have they been drifting towards possible futures? If too much of your energy is pulled away from the present moment, you diminish the power you have to create what your heart desires. Creation doesn't happen in the past or the future. It happens in the here and now by the choices you make in each moment. Even now, in reading this message, or listening to this message, you are choosing to, pre to be present, to bring your energy into the eternal now, stimulating the law of attraction into action. As you relax in this moment, trusting the past is over and the future shall truly be wonderful, you can more easily energize your dreams, visions, and heartfelt desires. The universe believes that you are deserving of a spiritual gift. To accept the gift in whatever form it takes, you will need to be present to have enough stillness of mind to recognize it. You'll need to have enough inner peace to accept it, to take it inside where it can nourish, inspire, and heal you. The form of this gift will be perfect for you, and the way that it comes shall be perfect too. It is being orchestrated by divine timing now. It will assist you to take the next step on your soul journey successfully. I'm going to stop there. 
So there you have it, guys. I know this is this is a little bit of a rough period, and honestly, this tends to be a, a rough time for everybody. January, um, you know, especially right out of the holidays, going into February, even it might get a little better there. But I know it's rough, but ultimately, everything is going to be okay. Maintain your focus in the present moment to help you really manifest that what it is you truly desire. And actually, if you look at this nine of wands here, that's really what that looks like, to, in my opinion. You know, she's, she's meditating, she's in the present, she's focused in the now, and she's staying strong, she's persevering, okay? All right, guys, so there you have it. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you guys have a great weekend, and uh, I look forward to connecting with you guys again very very soon yeah i will be doing a live twin flame reading on sunday the 13th 2 p.m eastern standard time so if you're interested come on by and check us out yeah much love to you all take care have a great weekend Mwah! bye